my name is David Dermer. I'm 50 years old. I um, was born and raised in Miami Beach. I was mayor between 2001 and 2007. Well, one of the great things about being mayor of Miami Beach, we have everybody coming through the city. You meet everyone from presidents to uh, prime ministers, entertainers, um, celebrities. I mean, you know, President Bush was through here quite a bit. Magic Johnson, Ricky Martin, Muhammad Ali, Angelo Dundee, Prime Minister of Israel Netanyahu has been here a number of times. It's a very, very long list. And that's one of the fun things about being mayor of Miami Beach. You wind up meeting everybody. But, you know, at the end of the day, one thing you should know and everyone should know, don't be impressed by politicians. I hold the title of best dressed teacher currently and I'm defending that title. The votes aren't in yet, or they haven't been counted, so I don't know whether this could be a year where I've defended it uh, and for two years in a row holding it, but I hope I will. I've been pretty conscientious, you know, to maintain this level of fashion, uh, you have to be, it's, it's an ongoing struggle, you have to be on your toes. Um, I've been scouring thrift shops between here and Vero Beach on a regular basis to find uh, the proper attire. So uh, hopefully the senior class this year will give me the privilege again to, to hold that title of best dressed. And all of those that may see this that had voted for me in the past and may help me uh, succeed as being best dressed, once again, I do appreciate it. Well, the beach was really, has really changed a great deal from when I was growing up to today, I mean, the average age back then, uh, the median age for Miami Beach was 67 years old. Now, the median age is 37. I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up off 25th Street. Uh, I went to the Hebrew Academy. I went to Miami Beach Senior High School. I graduated Beach High in 80. So, and I was born actually in St. Francis Hospital, which no longer exists. That's Aqua. It's the name of the development there. So it shows you how times have changed, that if the place you were born, the hospital, has now become a development for more upper end, I'd say, young adults. The city has, has changed dramatically. Actually, the city, as far as its development in the south part of the city, you have these high rises now, multi-million dollar uh, condominiums, uh, that was just South Beach. Well, Beach High was different too. We had the Marielle boat lift was happening. We had the McDuffie riots. We had a uh, major Haitian uh, boat lift that was going on then. And there was all kinds of things going on. That was the year uh, that the gates, the fences started coming up. And it used to be a much more free flowing area where coming and going, leaving campus was easier. Security concerns were not as they are today. The buildings obviously had a lot of windows. That's something that we don't see in the classroom we're in now. We're sort of like in a brick bunker here, but there was a lot of windows. Uh, the, the education here was good. I, the, the types of education, I think, as far as classes were different. Either we're in honors or regular. You took your SAT score. In those years, if you were breathing, you got into the University of Florida. I went to American University and I got a degree in uh, justice there and then went to law school. And after that, I became a prosecutor. I was a prosecutor in Broward County for a number of years and um, worked my way up from um, DUIs and juvie crimes up into felony. And I did that and then I came and got into private defense work and general trial work. and. Uh, enjoyed doing that for a while and then got into politics, uh, ran for office and became a commissioner on the beach and did that for one four-year term and then I became mayor of my beach and did that for three terms. I became mayor right after 9-11 so we, we had a lot of struggles here on the beach initially because with 9-11 what many people may have forgotten is that the air travel had stopped. And there, the ripple effect off of that was quite considerable. Eventually it did come back and it came back, I would say, fairly, uh, fairly fast. I mean, it came back within two, three months. 
Uh, the city then went through a tremendous boom. So I was very fortunate to be presiding over a city at that time that we were doing so well economically. People were very, very kind to me. Really a tragic day that we had one of our police officers that ran over um, accidentally uh, two women that were on the beach and they were sunbathing next to a lifeguard stand. And one was killed unfortunately and the other had suffered severe injuries and I went to greet the parents when they were coming in from, they were from France, they were coming in a rural area of France and that was, that was one of day that, I, that stands out as being really difficult. Uh, we went through all the Memorial Day ups and downs. We had established new events like Art Basel at that time, which became very, very successful. Um, our taxes were doing, we, we lowered our taxes. We actually gave a surplus back to people of money, which you don't see very often. In fact, we mailed checks back to every um, homesteaded property in Miami Beach. So people were getting $250 checks in the mail that said City of Miami Beach and they just didn't know what was going on. Some were calling the police department. They thought it was some sort of a scam. And it turned out because they said, what a, you know, and to get money back from the government was shocking to them. Um, yeah, it was very special to be able to hold the same seat that my dad held. Um, it was, was very, very special for me. And um, it's, uh, I, when you go into the commission chambers and you see the pictures of the former mayor, mayor's up there and you see your dad's picture up there, it, it uh, gives you a sense of continuity and also it shows that historically as a city we've matured a great deal because we were established in 1915 and now you've got generations that have been here and are assuming uh, the torch of leadership as time goes on. We tried to do a lot of creative things. We did things involving distance separation, where sex offenders had to be registered sex offenders so far away from places like public schools and bus benches. We originated that in Miami Beach. A lot of activities we did. We did a lot of things that were for the betterment of the people in general, in the nature of parks, programs, fire safety, police, uh, beaches, uh, renourishment of beaches. It was a very exciting time and I think we did a lot of good. I think in general, I think that it was just a restoration of confidence in the city. We had a very positive um, time period and the reputation of the city was absolutely outstanding at that time.